Hi, welcome back to Nail It By Nay. Today I'm doing another unboxing review on this Beatles gel polish kit. The set is called Retro Beloved. You get 20 colours. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Nicely packaged as always. I say always, but I've only got one other kit. If you haven't seen that review, it is on the Sandstorm collection and it's available on my channel. Bit of a smaller collection that one is. So here we have directions, warnings, what the package includes, ingredients, how to store, website also, just there. Not much else to say about the box really. You've got some more information here as well. Let's take a look inside. Got a little detailing brush there. It's got the little logo there, didn't know this came in the kit, really thin brush. Coming quite handy that. A little tip there. I think these might be some instructions. Yeah, so you've got an application guide again. Helpful tips how to remove the product, FAQs. Some pictures to go with the description there. A lot of people say the gel polish is thick. It's got a little description there about why the gel is thick. So, all the colours are slotted into those, into this polystyrene, I see. Try and put them back in order. And then in this collection you have a shiny top coat, a matte top coat, and then a base, a clear base, which are a bit bigger. What mill are they? So they're 12 mil bottles and then all the colours are slightly smaller. Is it 8 mil? Oh no. They are 5 mil. The smaller ones, the colours. Colours have then got the code on that are actually colour coded as well, the little stickers. So I'm guessing that's obviously quite like a nude colour. Looks a bit yellowy that one. Ooh. Guessing that's a glitter. Let's have a quick look. I love these bottles. These bottles are like shiny bottles. In my last kit, 
you'll see from the review that they are matte bottles. They're slightly bigger as well, I think. They would look nice together. Maybe we'll try that in a bit. So I'm going to have a look at what the colours look like. I'm actually just looking for the green right now. The reason I bought the kit is because it's a, a nice green and a green glitter. With it being Christmas and me not having them colours. I decided to order the kit. <laughs> just for two colours. <laughs> There's a nice red there. Ah, here we are. This is the green. I'm going to test that one first. I'm guessing this is the glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Put them aside. Oh, that's nice. That blue. We've got a bit of a lighter blue. Oh, that's nice. I might have to test some of these blues as well. We'll go with green and then blue. It's a pinky purpley colour. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. So, as I said, all the colours are 5mm and then you've got the base and the two top coats, the shiny and the matte that are 12mm. Like a peachy pink colour there. Very pale pink. Don't know how you can even see that. Got a nice glitter pink again. That was it, wasn't it? I think. Oh no, there's a purple. That would look nice with them. Um, that purple. Is it gone? Hmm, don't know, maybe it'll clash. Can have a look at them together a bit later, but like I said, I'm gonna try the green first. So I've got my first swatch stick ready and I'm gonna go in with the green. I have given the nails a bit of a wipe with some prep solution and a lint-free wipe. And as I always do, I'm going to skip the clear coat stage, the base coat even. So this gel doesn't even seem as thick as the polishes in the Santom collection. If you have a look at that review, you'll see what I mean. This is going on. It looks quite thin. Quite transparent. 
looks like it may need maybe three coats we'll have to see put it in the lamp while i wait for that i'm going to switch to my glitter Looks exciting. That is me sorted for Christmas. First coat. So the greens come out, going in for a second coat. Slightly better. It looks like it might need another two coats to be fair, we'll have to see. Back in. Second coat of the glitter. Very nice, I think just another coat of that really. I think it's these swatch sticks to be honest, they always look around this area really transparent. While I wait for the others to cure, would help if I put the lamp on. I'm gonna try some of these blues as I said. Hmm. I'm gonna go for that one. I forgot to say there's nothing else in the box. It was just those three bits of polystyrene with the colours slotted in. do is paint two so we can have a look at this colour in the shiny top coat and the matte top coat, test them out to see if they're any good. That is so nice.
seems to have gone on a bit thicker. Like I said again, that area there always seems to be like washed out. You can still see what the colour looks like. It never looks like that on a nail, but on these swatch sticks for some reason. Might help if you get, I don't know if you can, but white swatch sticks because a colour on top of white just shows nicer. A bit more solid, but yeah, it's a lovely colour. Very bright. I tried this one a little bit thinner, so it may have just been me really, I think it was. I'm going to let them cure, see how the greens are doing. This is coat three. Oops. Starting to see what's actually going to look like, but it needs a fourth coat. That is not solid enough for me. Hopefully it's just one more for the glitter. I feel like changing my nails to this colour now. Very Christmassy. This is definitely what I'm going to do my nails like next. <laughs> Leave those greens to cure and check on the blues. The one that was painted on thicker actually looks better at this point. Kind of looks done already. Try and do a really thin coat. Because that's all it really needs. Second coat, so if we leave them to cure, we can get the top coats on and see the difference between the glossy and the matte look. So I'm now also going to test the top coats. So if I take the shiny and the matte, because the blues are about ready to come out of the lamp. There are instructions on the bottles as well as the little application guide, bit tiny so you might struggle to read it but it is there and again, if not it's all in here anyway. There's also customer care support on the back of the application guide, just there if I can get it in focus, no not going to work for me. There we go.
This turquoisey colour is nicely cured. So I'm now going to go in with shiny top coat. As the instructions say, just as I did with the colour, I'm just going to mix it with the lid first. Because even this feels thicker than the the base coat and the top coat I use at the minute is from Miley, and that's what I've always used. So this is the first time I'm actually using Beatles. So I'll have to see if I like it or not. This is also apparently non-white, which I've never used, so. We'll see if that's any good as well. It's very thick. Still looking smooth at these. Do you want any colour left on my brush? Stick that aside to cure. Going in with my matte top coat now. Give it another mix again. See that going on. Make sure it's nice and smooth before I put it in. Then we can see how those greens are doing. Three coats in and that's how they're looking. So I am going to go in with the fourth coat for the green don't know if you can tell but the area I keep saying goes that's like that remains transparent there kind of annoying but at least we can see what the colour looks like So I'm just going to top coat the glitter. Get them back in. And the blues are ready just in time. These are the nails, matte, shiny, apparently non-white, but we'll see. Okay, it works. Like I said, I've never used non-white, but okay. <laughs> So far there are the greens as well. Nice, moving on. So the next colour I'm going to go for is this colour looks really nice. We're going with this pink, purple, pinky purple whatever you want to call it. I don't think there's an actual colour, it's just a code. So I'm actually going to go in with the base coat. Because I haven't done a base coat, colour and top coat with beetles, I'm going to do that for the first time and just do it properly, see what it's like. So let's do the whole thing as you would, base coat first. It's 
stick it in the lump for two minutes and then we'll go in with the colour. Colour time. Got my colour ready. What it looks like so far, I'm going to stick it in the lamp to cure. So this is what that colour is looking like after two coats. I'm now going to go ahead and do one in a shiny top coat and one in a matte top coat, just like I did with the turquoisey colour. And we'll see what that is looking like. After two coats and a top coat, this is how they're looking. I'm not going to lie, this matte top coat just isn't doing it for me. It could be that I need to replace my bulbs in my nail lamp, however. I'm now going to go in with the colour that I said would look nice with this one. I kind of feel that they might clash though, but still want to know what it looks like anyway. It's quite different in the bottle anyway. First coat, looking very clear still, can't really get an idea of what it looks like. So we'll cure it and go with the second coat and see what it looks like. As I've got no patience, I'm going to go in with these two while I wait for that purple glitter to cure. What I might do as well is do this one twice as well so I can uh, show you what it looks like in a shiny and a matte finish. I know some people have that clear look where you get stuff that's capped in as well but I think for me with that coming out clear you can either do it like that or I would put it over that colour that I've just done so I'm going to go ahead and do that and see what that turns out like but that's kind of what it looks like on its own. I'm going ahead with a second coat on that really light orange colour. I'm 
I think it needs a third coat if I'm honest. It looks like so far. Stick it in the lamp. And we can actually have a look at the purple now as it's had two coats. So that's what that looks like. Do we think it goes? I think so. With the mat. I don't think it clashes at all. They look nice together, they do. Right, moving on. So these will come out after having a second coat. And what I'm going to do is put a layer of this glitter on one of the nails, see how it looks. Nice. That's the clear on its own. I know some people like that look, don't they? But I think that also looks very nice. So now I've just got to figure out whether I'm going shiny or matte on this. Hmm. I think matte. Should we have a look what matte looks like? Yeah, let's go matte. I think it might need another coat though. Just that area again there. Now let's go for it. What I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to use one of my cheaper top coats because just that issue with this one that I wasn't feeling, I feel like it's come out like a bit patchy there. Might it's, it looks like it's that area, oh god, that area again though that I keep talking about. So we'll see if it is just that or. If it's the top coat. And it's the canny one, it's not the Beatles. I just want to see if it works out any better for me because this is the one I usually use and it doesn't give me any trouble. So this is what I'm at for. Now I'm going to have to wait because I went and wiped it. This is what the mat looks like. And then you've got the glitter. With the colour. Glitter alone. Nice. So that is the first coat of the glitter, the glitter pink, which is that one. I think like the purple, it's going to need like a couple of coats until we get to see what it properly looks like. I think actually the purple ended up having two and this one looks like it might need three. Making a mess over here. And then we're going for this really pale pink colour. I went on really nice actually that did so 
first coat. So the pink glitter has come out of the lamp and I'm going in for a second coat. what it's looking like I decided that I'd faff about with my glove and ripped it I don't think I've made it through a nail video without damaging my glove somehow but yeah this pink I'm just I'm not a huge fan I just kind of like a solid glitter and after three coats it's like not solid but not clear but Saying that, the rest of the colours in the collection I do like. All I've got to do for you now is do one in a glossy top coat, which will kind of just look the same as they do now, really, and then another in matte. Go for the matte first. I'm so extra. Right, so we can let that cure. And then top coat. This one in a glossy top coat. Stick that in the lamp too. So we now have a matte V shiny. I did actually want to test out this colour but having gone through all the colours it's the only one that doesn't really look like the little sticker here. I know it can't always be bang on but like it's quite weird that one it's like a clear sort of pink. I might just put a bit on. Like look at that you can barely see that. I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, you can barely see that, I'm not sure what's going on there, but to me it kind of doesn't reflect what colour it's supposed to be, I don't know, could just be me. I think it's just because I like solid colours like I was saying, but yeah, that doesn't look like anything. So yeah, the rest all good, apart from obviously that glitter pink that I'm not a huge fan of, but you might be. And remember what I've done today is only half of the colours, so that's 10 of the colours in the kit. So if you follow the link that I leave below for the kit, you'll see that they have all the colours on there, like pictures of the colours they have. Like I said, they don't always reflect what the colours actually look like, so it is good to obviously swatch them like this. But yeah, if you follow the link, you'll see the rest of the colours. I mean, if you scroll back to the beginning of the video as well, I do show the little sticker on the top with the colour that's supposed to represent the colour that is in the bottle. I feel like they all kind of reflect what colour is in the bottle anyway, apart from that one that I showed you last. It's also useful so that your clients can see what colours they can have, what they should look like, so they can see what you're working with. And that is half of the kit. Well, it's actually nine colours, so it's not quite half, but we did actually try and do that pink that just, in my opinion, didn't look very good. So, yeah, I'll leave the link below, like I said, for the kit. You can go and check it out yourself. Thanks for tuning in, and I shall see you in the next one.